Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Marcosa. Marcosa. Must. Mama ku, mama sa, mama ma ku sa, 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 ku mama sa, mama ma ku sa, mama ku, mama sa, mama ma ku sa, mama ku, mama sa, mama ma ku sa. You're in the hen house on T Radio V. I am Adam Klesh. I'm here with Luke Nero and Aaron Elvis. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good week, boys. Hi! Wow, there's so much that went oh, on! So much happened. I'm so happy to be back in the studio. Um, let's, uh, before we get to what I want to talk about, my yeah. big announcement, uh, I want to go right to Eric Gates. I don't know yeah, why he's yeah. calling. Eric Gates is calling us from New York City. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Let's let's get him on the line. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you're on the line here. You've got him on. Eric, you there? Oh! That's, that's not Eric. <laughs> that's not Eric. I don't know who that Who's is. Who's that? Someone's Skyping in. Say hello to him. I know hello? Hi, how are you? I can't hear. Oh, we can't. Are hear you him. on mute? That's not Eric Gates. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, yep. Yeah, hang on one second. Hold on, I'll figure it out. All right, we'll that's figure. So not Eric Gates. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we have a. Hey, family. all I can see is that's the name. It says it's under. So oh, okay. It says that's the name. It's under, and that wasn't Eric Gates. I don't know. Anyways, all right. We'll get to my big news. Uh, we've got a photo we can put up, uh, which is on the. I give it to you, Jake. That is my engagement party Ow! in San Diego because he said yes. And all those bodies around me are inspiration for what I should look like. <laughs> <laughs> and my uh, lovely co-hosts are in my wedding party. Thank you very much. Yay. Yay. And this gentleman directly to my left is my best man. Yay. Good evening. I have Aww. a job to do. So you have a great have job. I have do. a great job to do. Yeah. You have a great job to do. I, it's going to be a party. It's going to be a, it's going to be a party that happens to have a wedding in can it. Can I ask a mm-hmm. question? Sure. I'm ask you. you on air. Yeah. Um, are we combining the bachelor party? Is it going to be one big bachelor party or are there going to be two different bachelor parties? I don't know. It can be discussed. It can be okay. discussed. I'd like to have them separate. He'd like yeah. to have them together. So yeah. I have no reason or just have if two you will to have different them ones. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean. Have a party one and have an adventurous one. Yeah, the you know adventurous what I mean? one is going to be a yeah. lot. Well, the one in San Diego wasn't even really the engagement party. No, it was just sure. sort of like but we you know were headed I mean. down to San Diego on Saturday anyways to right. meet with our friends. And we had happened to get engaged. On, I happened to pop the question on Friday. So it was right in front of me. I was really drunk. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Actually, I know. Are you serious? I walked right up to Luke and I was like, (laughs) I need a microphone. And she's like, for what? And I was like, I'm going to ask him to marry me. And she goes, okay. I just had no, I was so shit faced. I had no idea. (laughs) And then I saw pictures of Nick all over the screen with that song. Yeah. That kind of, you know, broke the, the, uh, what's it? Diana uh, uh, Lewis. I love you always forever. And then I was like, yeah. oh, something's going on. Yeah, That's yeah. not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So straight. Yes. <laughs> Big cheers from the gays. Big that was a huge. Everybody cheered. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was a really good experience. Uh, you on the went, perfect day. On the perfect day? On the perfect day. Yeah. I uh, We'll get into that. I, I want to yeah. talk about that so much. There's so much to talk about with that good and bad and foolish people and yeah. all this other stuff. And uh, Aaron was at the happiest place on earth when I asked him to be my best <laughs> man. I was, yeah. I was, dis- I was at Dismaland, the Tragic Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> it was what, what? so much fun. Just to go. Just to go? Yeah, yeah. my friend my yeah. friend Angela and I went. Um, who I freaking love. We had so much fun. She's like, let's just go on a certain day. I was like, let's just make it like a birthday day. Like, you know, post-birthday birthday day and i got a birthday button and literally every person at disneyland was like happy birthday it's crazy happy birthday. that training people, that they have we're giving me things do they still, i'm not kidding you like they, guests were giving me things do they still let you in for free if it's your birthday no, no. god no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> we've but been I, in a recession darling. i did the ultimate ridiculous southern california thing i bought a season pass i bought a year pass really but it's perfect though it's cheap well, Ish. sure, it's cheap. If you go Ish. twenty times a year, yes. yeah. So, I'm how many times up? do you mathematically have to go to make your money up for that? Mm, Three or four? It's five. Not, five. That's not not too bad. terrible. No. Considering not terrible. you've already been twice. Well, no, this is the first time I've used it. So, but I'm saying not all. No, I, I bought it and used it. So, yeah. I've been twice in the last <laughs> month. <laughs> been the last month and a half. Yeah. So, I got to go a lot this summer. That's sure. all I have to Good. say. So, Fun. if anybody wants to go to Disneyland with me, wonderful. And what did you do? Recovering. <laughs> I uh, after recovering from 
LA's second Pride, which it felt like on Friday, mm-hmm. I went to... It did. It was so yeah. busy out. Yeah, it was, I mean, yeah. the streets were just madness. Everybody wanted to be on the boulevard and be happy. Right. Everybody, A lot of people went to the rally early. So everybody's day started early. Everybody's yeah. drinking started early. Everybody's celebration started early. So, uh, yeah, it was a great day. Yeah. And then Saturday, I went to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery to watch... Showgirls. Oh, was, right, 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 right. It was amazing. So was it, it was, great? I'd not seen it in a very long... Like, I don't think I'd seen it in it's 20 years. 20 I'd, years old? 20 years yeah. old. Yeah. 20 yeah. years old, that movie. Yeah, and Elizabeth Berkeley was there to oh, open, was she? open the show. <laughs> yeah. She owned it. She was just she like... owned it, finally. She owned that it was probably... It was the worst thing she ever did for her career. And she said it's it was a bad film and the fact... And that's what made it a cult. Yeah, film. So. Do you, I mean, is there argument's sake that Saved by the Bell was the worst thing she ever did for her career? Because wasn't she always Jesse no? But she Spano? was she was prepped to be a movie star, and she yeah. did that. So yeah. that was that's oh. the problem. Yeah. That that was like her first step out. You're kind of expected after being on a crappy show to actually be pretty good. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? If, yeah. you're, if you're the the star of this movie, um, she did. However, I, to her, what's the word I'm looking for? To her. Um, uh, not dismay. What's the opposite of dismay? To her credit, she right, went right. off and she uh, went to acting classes, mm-hmm. and she became a pretty good freaking actress. Right. She's done a lot of work since then, and has been really, really good. So I kind of applaud her for that. I'm like, good for you for seeing that you sucked and that you needed a lot of work, and for not hiding in a hole but going out and getting that work done. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and she's a, she's a sweetheart. I bumped yeah. into her at Chicone's one night when I had purple hair and her kid was like all over me because <laughs> he wanted to play with my purple hair at the time. So. Wow. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, this week we've got Jay Rodriguez on the show. Yeah. Who? Um, whom? <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, Jay's done everything. Yeah. Uh, if you know anything popular and gay or Indian edgy or showy and ritzy, Jay's done it. I mean, uh, it's Broadway, it's television. <laughs> he has an Emmy. I'm kidding. Jay. Yeah, yeah. She's got an Emmy. Yeah. He's got an Emmy? She's got yeah. an Emmy. Yeah, for QE. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, sure oh, does. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Jack Katsoyan's going to call back in. Oh, she, she is, is currently in P Town, but she's going <laughs> to oh, call in and, and ask us if we've seen the internet today. Her yeah. look at the airport was something else. <laughs> Whose was? Jack Katsoyan's. Oh, no. She had a look, honey. Oh, no. And a pile of Louis Vuitton luggage right behind her. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course he did. And uh, this week we are sponsored by Red Bull, as always, giving us that lift. It gives you wings. And uh, Bar 10 in WeHo, which you can find at www.bar10weho.com. Bar 10 in WeHo, wonderful place for great cocktails, food, and you can play some billiards. Uh, We are going to go out to a trailer of what I've been told is the most watched uh, web series on the internet. It's yeah. a, a its own YouTube channel. It's something like 36 million viewers or something like that. Insane. Yeah. That uh, <clears throat> started in Australia. Jade Rodriguez is in. Uh, so we'll go out to that trailer and we'll have Jay tell us all about it when he gets back. You're in the hen house on www.tradiov.com. Yay. I'm a little early, aren't we? Sorry. Good eye. Can I go on, pet? Love is love, right? Who cares what hole you stick it into? Do you guys ever do three ways? I 
Está. Alrighty, you're back in the hen house. Jay Rodriguez. Hi. Welcome. Yeah, hi, hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah, that's the horizon. It's like the most viewed online gay web series. So that's cool. Yeah. And they asked me, they were doing a that's premiere cool. at Revolver and someone asked me to host it. I hosted their little premiere party for season four and they were like, Would you ever come to Australia and shoot like a couple seasons with us? And I was like, A couple yeah. seasons? Yeah, because they because their web series they're only eight to ten minutes long. So it only uh -huh. takes like, you know, two they could do all they did but I did seasons five and six in two weeks because they could stockpile all my scenes. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's that for learning lines? It was really interesting because it was faster. It was like, yeah, it was fun, but it was cool. And I got to like shoot on Bondi Beach and like they closed a lot of stuff for them. Did you say really cool. Bondi? Yeah. Bon what do you call it? No, Bondi. it's Bondi. Oh, he yeah. just has a party yeah. on Friday. Yeah, yeah no, Bondi. I know. I love I I, I, I came dig last into week. Our sponsor. I left my little other job early and came and party. Oh, good. You were you were somewhere not to be found. I could Were you there for my oh, engagement? Yeah. No, I got there around one ten. Oh, the... you missed the engagement by about uh, seventeen minutes. No. I think. Yeah. It was good. I uh, think. I'm I sure. think. I, I was know. a little wasted by that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Cool. All right, so now you do this web series. Yeah, uh, yeah. I met them. They came here. They're wonderful yeah, people. They're so sweet. Um, you've got a lot of things going on in your life between pilots and this and that. You're a always typical Puerto Rican. A whole, I feel like I have 16 <laughs> jobs at all time. Um, None of them spackling. No, I'm going to have some Red Bull. Um, Go for it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. I, I feel like when you're not like on a series, your sideline work tends to be these smaller little one-off like guest stars on this or whatever. And then I have never been able, even when I was doing Rant or Queer, I, I never – could just be like, okay, I have a job, relax. Like I've always felt the anxiety of, what if it goes away? Like I need to. Well, be, especially in yeah. entertainment, it's but, all, yeah. I mean, oh, but that's yeah. a good thing. You should. Yeah, never, you should never feel safe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. you just can't. So speaking of doing fifteen million things at once, you also have an indie film that's yeah. about to come out. Talk, uh -huh. what, what's this about? Yeah. So uh, this great project called Kiss Me Kill Me that was happening, and it stars uh, a bunch of people that like Gail Harold from Queer as Folk and Brianna Brown from Devious Maids and all these really great people. They had a cast, and I feel like I'm always replacing. Uh, someone f fell out last <laughs> minute, and they were like, "Who can we get?" And they met with like five actors. It's which a is great, odd. Uh, it's a great poster. Yeah, when they meet with you, it's not. It was not an audition. They just like sit with you and talk with you. And I was like, "This is really cute." They're like, "We're not gonna have you audition. We don't want to do that to you." But then you leave. Like, did I get it? Did I not get it? Right. And so it's a murder mystery. It's film noir style. Um, it'll be playing all the indie circuits this summer. But it's, I saw like a little teaser for it. It's gorgeous. Like they shot it beautifully and. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Without about giving it. the whole thing away, can yeah, someone gets killed some sort of and and, um, and they're trying to figure out the who done it. And I'm this rookie detective, Noah Santos. My partner, Santos, um, Santos, right? Santos. My uh, they changed my name. I think it was like Glenn, blah blah blah. And there's like a total white guy. <laughs> Glenn name, Smith. Like, Do you mind if we give you something you know more appropriate? I was like, okay, sure. Uh, but yeah, so so I play this rookie detective who's uh, kind of sort of closeted, and his partner's a lesbian. <laughs> and uh, she played Whitney Houston's rumored lesbian in the Whitney movie. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh. So, uh, so, so it was really fun. So and, she's got um, the lesbian role unlocked. Exactly. Yeah. And at the end, I think I come to terms with whatever it is I'm thinking about. I was about to call her Gail. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, sorry, that's what was lesbian. Gail the detective. <laughs> Foreshadowing. So that'll be out. So it's your coming out story and a who done it. Well, yeah. Or I coming think, to terms. Yeah, story. I don't want to call it this is fun, like having a to carry a gun, like a real. Like prop Which. gun that actually weighed something, and you're like, "Ooh, this is like really like." I, we kept playing with them, and we're like, "This is, doesn't feel right." <laughs> we had like real cop cars, real, and like it was really. They put a lot of money into it. It was great. Well, this will further your your gay celebrity then. That's yeah, good. it was. It, it Do was you find an different. issue with that, like um, being no, a, a gay celebrity? To. Yeah, I used to back in the day because I right my first job ever was playing a drag queen in Rent, and I was 18, and I wasn't comfortable in my own sexuality even to. To say it's just a character. I was scared if I said I was playing that role that people just think I was a drag queen. Now, I just had a drag birthday party two weeks ago and I have no <coughs> issue with it whatsoever. Um, well, you're also so, not yeah. painting yourself into a corner anymore, sure, I think. Yeah. It's this leaps and bounds thing that's Yesterday, happening. I mean, I went in for an MTV show and I went in to play, of course, the gay. And I walked in and it's based on a, uh, a real life situation. And I walked in, the producer's like, he looks like he looks like and they kept saying I look like another like the real other person who was the straight lead who's Dominican and, and he's like the straight male lead and it's a guest star role and I was ready to read for the gay part and he was like 
can we just give you the sides for the straight guy? And I was like, sure. And then I booked it in the room. That's <laughs> the straight guy. Yeah, and I was like, you, uh, my manager is great. But can't clock you. He, he sees gay, Latin, and he's like, oh, submit, as opposed sure. to seeing what else was available. Mm -hmm. And then getting the thing that they never thought I'd get. Yeah, well, that's great. That yeah, never that's great. happens. Perfect. Yeah. And that comes with being relaxed to the bone now. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you're not, True. just as soon as you give up that facade you're putting off, you just... No. Yeah. And being a gay actor now, an out gay actor, is getting a little more, you can play straight roles. Yeah, now. as long as you go in, I would say, if you go in and you feel like that character right away, yeah. for me, it especially helps when there's women in the room and they, if they're doubting, I tend to look at them, make eye contact a little longer than I know is comfortable. So it's almost like a flirty dance so yeah. to like, you yeah. know, make them feel a how a man. All you like struggling waiters, uh, actors out there, <laughs> take note. <laughs> Um, yeah. you know, flirt with the production staff. You yeah, know? I mean, this. I mean, I got. I. I have in my early years living in LA. I would just. They would. They would say, "We don't want to see him. We love him. Thank you." And I would just show up, and oh, I make them you. put that awkward position of they mm -hmm. had to see me because I was right. there, and they respected me enough. But they're like, "Oh." God, we need to know. I was like, oh my God, yeah, they probably messed it up. Okay, do you want me to go in? Like, and then I just forced my right. way in. And I did mm -hmm. that twice and I got the role both times. Now, because the character was straight or there was something that they were not sure about. Now, I've heard every, like, okay, so everyone on Broadway is assumed to be gay. Sure. <laughs> I've heard being gay on television is easier. Mm -hmm. And then being a gay trying to get a motion picture is yes. the hardest. Yeah. Now, is that just because getting a motion picture is the hardest? Or is being gay an issue? I think it's such a small <clears throat> pool of actors who get chosen for it. And, the, and this pilot season was crazy being in the waiting room with people that are so established. I'm like... You have to audition? Like, that seems yeah. wrong to me. You're, like, right? sitting next to Hugh Jackman. And you're like, what? That Another gay in motion pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go Oh, there. I don't mean to out There's it. Sorry. so many, so, like, uh, You're young. alive, darling. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many young boys that I know, and I'm sure we know, who are not out, who are on <clears throat> oh, leading, yeah. se who are th series regulars, who are in lead positions, who have a massive social media following and popularity, but are... Yeah. They don't talk about it. And social media is such this driving force now that, that people are literally going to get motion picture roles based on their social media. People will ask you it's as a, yeah, a negotiation yeah. tool. Well, yeah. It's all money. They'll say how, it's many, all money. how many followers does he have because no. it's instant PR. You can put a billboard up and you're hoping people will pass it. But if you have them at the palm of your hand because they're looking at your pictures, that's instant yeah. reaction. Yeah. You've yeah. gone from being a 3D celebrity to like a 4D celebrity Literally. where they know yeah. everything about your life, mm -hmm. no. which is crazy to me. What did you? Uh, were you a gay celebrity in action for Pride? Were I, you did, I wasn't even here. I was in Key West Pride. So what I was about a gay NYC or San Francisco? I didn't do that. <laughs> gay celebrity for the seniors. I was. I was a hot tamale in Key West. I <laughs> thought about moving. I was so I love that popular. Jay Rodriguez. Like, I love those butterscotch Literally, nuggets. Like, yeah. Well, many times, two people thought I was there to go-go or something because <laughs> that's the only other people that looked like me were the staff, you know? So that was pretty funny. No. Like, yeah. Well, Key West. Well, Key West, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 It was yeah. very white, <laughs> lot, very older, and the only brown yeah. in shape-ish were the Google Boys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're the spice of life down Literally, there. I was like, the I hell. might have to move down. Well, Aaron Alvis, you were in, uh, you went to San Fran, right? I was in San Francisco, and it was fucking intense. Oh, there so he is. Amazing. Look at look at those that handsome so boys. Great. Oh, yeah. They don't look like they're from San Francisco, do they? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, Most not people actually. in San Francisco have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was insane. Literally, the whole city was partying. Talk to me about gunshots. What oh, happened? Yeah, that happened after we were there, and it's so crazy because we got to this the festival. We walked in all festivals. The festival, made, the festival, I hate the festival. Saying this, and I know they serve their purpose, but it just oh, I hate going through those festivals. It's fried food and bad music and just just awful and kids and you know oversized boots and you know just like pokemon it just drove me crazy so we quickly got out of there and luckily we did because there was gunshots afterwards i don't think anyone was hurt obviously because they would have uh, talked about that were they uh celebratory gunshots sure <laughs> sure they thought we were down south yeah <laughs> no they were not celebratory right. i'm sure they were aimed at somebody and it was probably um gang related more than likely right yeah because there are gay gangs there well, it's just like when we would go down. I'm, to I'm not kidding you. There really? were gay gangs. Oh, oh yeah, God, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We would, yeah. Well, we would go down to New Orleans all the time, and there would be, I mean, people shot at Mardi Gras. Every year you would hear about deaths of Mardi Gras, and it was always gang-related. Well, Mardi, I mean, Louisiana, it's, I mean, not, not Louisiana, I should say New Orleans itself it's is pretty. Crime-ridden, yeah. Beyond. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pretty it's really good bad. Too. Living there was a lot. Oh. So, 
So did you just stay under wraps for Pride? Uh, no, so, so I, I was there to be the Grand Marshal. I was there for Stoli. So we did this big cocktail, cocktail off thing. And Stoli's the, really trying to get their name back they with the really gays. Are, well, they, and the good American, for them. Good for well, them. Yeah, but yeah. the American company is different than the Russian company. So they're like, hey, we didn't have anything to do with what the fuck he said. Mm -hmm. Is their stance on it, but yeah, and since they've been so long time supporters of the gay community, they now have yeah tried to rebrand themselves. But I was there doing that, and then the pride parade was really bizarre because they gave us we're out in floats, but I don't not familiar with the landscape of the city, so we had all these beads that we're gonna throw out into the audience. By the time we got on the real parade route, which was about six blocks from where we were parked, you were out of beads. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so when the real, whereas I'm like, I've got nothing. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Such a horror with They're the They're like, beads. oh, there's the Grand Marshal who's yeah. got nothing no, for no me. Beads. Yeah. It's like it's drink tickets when you walk into a room. Yeah, yeah you know, totally. They're gone by the time I've reached my sixth oh, yeah, yeah. hello. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always like, hi, is the heavy of you here? Do you have any drink tickets? Uh -uh. Does that drive you crazy when people ask you for drink tickets? Yeah. I would think I've yeah. had to pretend to not, not drive me crazy. That's why yeah. she was so happy when I got sober. <laughs> she was like this. I was bitch. like, just feed her Red Bulls. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. People still, I hate the people that um, or will text you and just say, oh my God, I'm just stopping by to say hi. I want to see you. And then they come with three people. No, and they're waiting they at, don't like that. And that would happen, but that would happen all. And they don't want to pay cover. That would happen course. all the time. And then when that party would end, you would just never hear of these people again. Yeah. So, but it took me, you know, in my naivety, it took me a while to work that out, especially during the Rasputin days. Mm -hmm. That's when all the charmers came out. But it was like, it took me a bit to kind of, like, oh, these people aren't genuinely coming to see me. Mm -hmm. They just want to get into the hottest party at yeah. the time. In. Okay. Well, that's yeah. I think also too like with nightlife, it is as I've been hosting things lately too, and I'm it's people who come because they see them on the thing and they think that I have a shit ton of drinking tickets in my pocket. With oh, yeah. The ones I host, they don't give they give me like two for myself and that's it. So it's like it's so bizarre because it, like you said, it is people who you're like I never talked. Well, to I felt you. bad no, for you the last no. event of yours no. that I went to because okay. it, it was like an entertainment based thing, but because Jay was on the flyer and he's entertained, they literally thought they were coming to like the Jay Rodriguez show and they were <laughs> relentless. It wasn't like coming to a party and enjoy yourselves with your friends and Jay happens to be throwing it. It was like, okay, now what, monkey dance? Yeah. I was just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. They're like, sing a song, sing a song, tell oh, a joke. Man. What are you doing, Jay? I love you. And it was like, very bizarre. Oh, I was like, good um, to see you. I got to go. Yeah, no, it's it's a little bizarre. I, I think what, what is so interesting, too, too though, is very telling because then you can kind of figure out who. Yeah, you who, work it out. You yeah. work it out. You work yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. So now I smell them coming, I can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they know I know. So I, it's, it's, <laughs> so it's uh, almost doesn't happen, but it occasionally happens, and uh, they know. No. My, my face normally tells them a whole it's other a story. Very expressive <laughs> face. <laughs> well, I want to um, I want to send it out to uh, a break. There's a video I found uh, that was made by Vox V O X, and it has to do all with the um, the timeline of marriage equality, and I found it really touching and. Um, just fun video, and when we come back, I want to talk. I want to talk all things marriage equality. I want people to call in. Uh, you can call in at eight five five T R V in L A. That's eight five five eight seven eight four six five two, or you can Skype in at T Radio V L A. Uh, tell us marriage equality, things you're excited about, and um, just where you were. What you know, I'll remember where I was forever. Um, so that's it. Let's go out. This is called the March of Marriage Equality. Just after midnight, thousands celebrated what was once just a dream. Gay couples are tying the knot legally for the first time in Connecticut. And now in the past week, both Iowa and Vermont. Cheers in New Hampshire, where same-sex couples celebrated the first same-sex couple to legally wed in the nation's capital. And judges across the state will be opening their doors today. <laughs> I'm glad that my parents are getting married. Big wins for same-sex marriage. Maine, Maryland, and Washington have become the first states to approve same-sex marriage by popular vote. This is a historic day for Maryland. The Defense of Marriage Act was struck down and Proposition 8 effectively invalidated. 
again legalizing same-sex marriage in California. Rhode Island and Minnesota are the latest states to legalize same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriages are being recognized in the state of New Jersey. And Hawaii will become the 16th state. New Mexico has become the latest state. A federal judge has struck down Oregon's same-sex marriage ban. A federal judge in Pennsylvania. And starting today, same-sex couples in Illinois can legally marry. The United States Supreme Court here in Washington has now decided not to hear appeals on same-sex marriage. The court's order immediately ends delays on marriage in these states. More than half of all Americans now live in a state where gay marriage is legal. <laughs> A federal judge has struck down North Carolina's gay marriage ban. We're going to take you to Alaska now. Now legal in the state of Idaho. Wyoming is the latest state. It's in Montana. South Carolina. Same-sex marriage officially became legal in the Sunshine State at midnight. A full-blown civil rights battle in Alabama. Now 36 U.S. states and the District of Columbia currently allow gay marriages. The, in a landmark decision, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that states cannot ban same-sex marriages. What this means is that it is now the law of the land in the 14 states that now ban same-sex marriage. This will take a while. It won't be immediate. Okay, we are back. That was so House Radio. Good. Yeah. That was kind of amazing. It's touching, yeah. isn't it? It's mm -hmm. um, the gay USA. <laughs> and you think how long things take in the United States, and fairly, there's yeah. a lot of laws, there's a lot of people and stuff like this. This is something that really just kind of got some steam going about seven years ago. And you think just, uh, boom, It's a little boom. bit longer than that, because Hawaii was kind of fighting for it way, way, way back when. Well, Even I mean, I think Massachusetts. we've been fighting for it for a while, but I think the first state going right, 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 right. Is, um, right. is the important thing. And I mean, DOMA was, the strike down of DOMA was four years ago. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, from Doma being struck down to all 50 states having it. It was pretty fast. It was fast moving. <laughs> I think the funny yeah. thing about it now is I, I remember the day after this all happened, I was in the gym and I someone had Fox News on. And every now and again, for a good giggle, I like to watch. <laughs> and I was on the treadmill and I was thinking, I'm listening to it. I'm waiting for them to really dig in and say something negative. And it was odd, the tone. It was almost like they had egg on their face and were like waving up white flag like, this is what it is. Like, we just have to accept it and move forward. Right. Now, that was just that one show I was watching mm -hmm. with three people. But the tone was whether you like it or you don't like it, we're literally talking about people wanting to be productive, loving, uh, equally recognized citizens of a country and contribute in a way that, that keeps great? it equal, you know? Sorry, we're just showing <laughs> yeah, some no, photos I here. I mean, I love it. It's um, And then there was a photo I saw that's got... Um, it's um like the White House, the Empire State Building. Yeah, that, the oh, there we go. Disney, yeah. Disney yeah. and everything. So good. Just yeah. everywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's phenomenal. <laughs> and I mean, I, I also want to make it really important that people remember, this doesn't mean that we get to take a big breath and it's over. No. There are still 30 no. states, 30 states, where you can get fired for being gay. Right, right. There are some you states literally right. say, putting up with not serving gay signs yeah. in the South. Yeah. Come on. I mean, it's Same. crazy. And it, it was just uh, decided today by some of the attorney generals that those county clerks who will not issue marriage licenses, you can either dismiss yourself from your position or you can face one year in prison. Wow. That's wow. what they said. Hello. So they said, if that's your answer, that's wonderful. And then they literally pulled out like the law books and said, here's the oath you take as a public servant. Right. Right. And if there's anything that dismisses you from your quote unquote obligation, you can dismiss yourself or it's against the law. Find so, I mean, else. I thought that was great because literally yeah. it's not a religious thing. No. This, this is marriage. This it's is a, illegal. This is it's also illegal. Yeah. Yeah. true. Yeah. So many people have this as embedded that they're anti-marriage as part of the culture they grew up with. So the minute that they relinquish this after being embedded for years and years and years that game marriage between same-sex couples is wrong. Like For some people, it's like you can give them all the truth and all the education and it's like they hear it, they know it. I, but yet they're still holding on because if this goes away, then it's like, oh, well, then, oh, well, yeah. have, you know, right. but years yeah. of thinking that they were superior, it's going away. You know? Exactly. That, and I, that Catholic video, have you seen that with all those kids sitting down the black and white video where they sit down and talk about how, you know, I'm sorry, but I cannot accept this. And one girl starts crying because it's so hard for her. You no, know, to, I didn't. Yeah. See oh, this. you uh -huh. have to see this. Oh, okay. uh -huh. It's fascinating. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. They they did a parody of it like immediately. It's after. almost like I'm coming out. I'm coming out as somebody who's anti. Yes, anti gay marriage. That's exactly. And did you see uh, what was it? Twenty twenty six or thirty six million people on Facebook. Twenty six million people. Twenty six million people changed, changed, changed their, their photo, yeah. their profile picture, that rainbow cover, uh -huh. yeah. and it. Uh, 
it uh, got a response of 500 million comments. Wow. 500 million comments to those various. I had a yeah. real shocking moment. I don't know if this happened to any one of you guys, but I had this woman who was good friends with my mother growing up. I grew up strict evangelical, born again Christian. Oof, oof. And she is no longer in my life, but she was super liberal, you know, divorced. Uh, was living with a guy before she was married in the past few years. And I put th- how to change that. I put the link, you know, and just so people in case they want to yeah, go yeah, on yeah. my Facebook. And I have not heard from this woman. She is on my Facebook page. And I didn't even, I just, I just like, you know, shared the post. I didn't even say, hey, this is what. And she said, sorry, but the Bible never changes one man and one woman. Smiley face. And so then I was like, oh, oh hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh my God. So, oh, my fine. God, bitch. But I just had to educate her on yeah. how yep. many changes there have been in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Educate mm-hmm. her on the scripture that it speaks to and who it was written. Sure, and this long sure. thing. And I was like, you might want to educate yourself before you make those comments. Oh, and by the way, you know, you're not supposed to be divorced or eat pork. So, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. And to that point, I, I you know, because I don't want to get terribly political and religious, yeah. why not? But you can go online and there is a guy by the name of Matthew Vine, I believe. And you can just Google Matthew Vine. And he picks out the six scriptures that are most quoted. Mm-hmm. And he actually is in a religious faith himself. I, you know, you can look that up. And he breaks down what was actually meant, yeah. the, the Greek, the Latin, all yeah. that stuff, and mm-hmm. how we've versed ourselves today. So to use that defense would be actually wrong because they're taken out of context. English he puts them Spanish, all yeah. in the context. Always taken out of context. English yeah. to Always. Spanish, <clears throat> even, we have, we. there's no, sometimes with languages there isn't a direct translation that is exactly literal. Like the way we say something in Spanish, it's like, to translate it, you're like, it's kind of like, you have to say kind of like because mm-hmm. it's, it's not, not exactly, exactly the yeah. same thing. Right. And nobody here speaks Aramaic, so. Right. No. Mm-mm. And I don't pretend to speak for, you know, God or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> um, well, the ancient Sumerians. Who yeah, exactly. God. But on, on the flip side, on the positive side, I do want to say it's just, it's an amazing thing. And I do want to give a shout out to my family. My family has always been supportive. We have had our confusing and questionable moments and what does this mean? Will there be kids? Are you sure? And your safety? Is it a choice? You know, but my family has always been so open and understanding and respectful. And we, you know, it's never easy because I'm gay and they aren't, you know, mm-hmm. so it's mm-hmm. this, um, but they've, it's always been an open conversation for that. I just, you know, I want to say I'm eternally grateful and thankful and for um, the people out there for things like the It Gets Better project and stuff. Yeah. Like if anyone's listening out there and that isn't your family, Call us. Find me on Facebook. Whatever. There are yeah. so many people. Going back to that rainbow thing, I think that sent a really strong message for the people that you're talking about. Yeah. You feel like yeah. they're alone in this. It's like suddenly their feet is like, yeah. oh no, I'm supported. Yeah. Completely covered. Everything was rainbow. Yeah, you've yeah. got your parents yelling at you that uh-huh. gay is wrong, yeah. and you can show your parents the White House. I was just going to yeah. say, and say, well, well maybe being Americans strong, wrong, mom. Yeah. 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 Strong thing. <laughs> you see, Obama said he wanted to go out and look at it, but there were people out there, and they would have to tell everyone they had to leave because you know, the president oh, yeah, outside. No. Oh. He's like, so I just have revel of revel it inside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, so funny. He's like, yeah. no, I don't want to make him leave. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, could you imagine? Like, yeah. I want to leave it. the president. Yeah, the president just wants to take a peek real quick. Meanwhile, in Australia, <laughs> it's still not legal. It's so not? Still no. Not. no. It's still not legal. Uh, Isn't that crazy? Wait, so, so gay min- marriage is not legal, but is it recognized in domestic partnership or anything like that? No. Nope. Nope. How Isn't about, that crazy? It's nuts. That country so of all countries. That's bizarre. Yeah. Is it a very... But they're happy to cash that Mardi Gras check. Of course they are. Yeah, of course. Honey. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Someone, one of my friends posted something brilliant about, you know, for all of you people who are going against this, you're not going to support companies who uh, so, who are pro-LGBT like Google or whoever changed their thing. She's like, well, then great. Then you need to stop watching a lot of TV shows and a lot of gay writers. And you need to stop listening to some of your favorite pop stars. I mean, it's like, oh, yeah. you're going to isolate yourself from the rest of the world. And you saw the Facebook response from like all the... The haters who are now doing the American flag over oh, there. Oh, I haven't seen those. Yeah, there's. So now we had the rainbow wash over. So now there's the American flag wash over. So anti-gay is American. Well, that just gets right well, into. Well, that's what I do. That's well, very Fourth of July though. So I'll yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'll do it too. Yeah. Sure. Well, here's what I don't understand. It's it's the law of the land in America. So you're putting American flag over. And yeah, like, America. 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 Well, there. Did you see <laughs> the best thing was on Friday afternoon when this finally it came uh, to fruition and the decision came down five four Kennedy the swing vote all this other stuff. People that were posting on their Twitter, I'm moving to Canada. I'm doing, oh yeah, like, Canada's response was amazing. Did you read that? Uh, well, no, no, I didn't see Canada's response, but I'm like, Canada's had gay marriage for That's over a said. decade. Like they literally said it to all those people. Are just so here. stupid. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, it's the, so fucking stupid the class of Americans who would think that you can move yeah. to Canada to escape gay marriage, yeah. of course, are the ones intelligent enough to not want gay marriage. I mean, I mean, it's just it's mind boggling. I can't wait till more straight allies with a conservative base continue to step oh, forward. Yeah. I mean, yeah. small, small, whatever, but on uh, Valentine's Day, the executive producer of the original Reba sitcom and the sitcom I was on with her got married. He got married to his partner of over 20 years. And they got married in, in Palm Springs and Reba tweeted a picture like going to the wedding or like maybe of the invitation or something. And she's like, you know, congratulations to Michael and his partner, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, So she's male. pro-gay marriage. She, her, st- her stepdaughter, who she also raised, uh, is a lesbian. Oh, and okay. she was asked many times, if she gets married, would you go? And she goes, she's my daughter. Of course I'm going to go. Good for her. And in fact, the, Good the for pilot Reba. of the sitcom I was on, um, something about like her daughter says, oh, you're homophobic. She goes, no, I don't have a problem with gay people. I love gay people. She's like, I just don't want a gay kid. You do a great Reba, out. by the way. Yeah, she's very funny. But, <laughs> but I could not believe the accent, like the, the comments underneath her feed of her core. And they were like, you're pandering to the gay, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm returning your cassette tape. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> but I think we're going to see the tides are shifting. And Majorly. it's so horrible to say. And I, But it's people have said this, and I was like, well, I hate the way that sounds. But like you sort of need for the older generation to die off for us to feel this big uh, you know, gust of acceptance. Which is for a lot of things. For a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, it's not, a, not even just this, you know. Well, yeah. we've, I mean, we've... Uh, the whole thing of people getting older and dying off and like it's going to take people in their 20s, 30s and 40s getting into Congress to yeah. create this yeah. whole just we don't give a fuck attitude. Mm-hmm. Like there are more important things like, you know, while while gay marriage equality was happening here, Greece was closing its banks and Correct. stock market, yeah, right. you know, mm-hmm. and ISIS was bombing people. So it's our 20 and 30 and 40 year olds that are like, we need to figure out relief funds. Like if yeah. you're going to go get married to have a great Saturday, yeah. you know, yeah. and. But it's also good to know that there are people older. For instance, you know, Caitlyn Jenner sure. was bouncing around NYC Pride with Candace Kane. At 65. At 65 looking, looking amazing. Yes. Fucking Look at that. Look at incredible. her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the fine. way, like, Candace was the first, and I'm going to say drag show because that's what it was billed as. I was took a dance class in New York. This is 2000. I was 20 years old. Yeah. And I'd met the tall blonde lady in my class, and I, was, and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm a dancer. I have a show at this bar. And she was the first trans woman. <laughs> I ever met, and she's just been freaking. You know, she still looks great. Oh, I've been on her forever. Yeah. The, she's, they're all and finally getting their time now. Finally. They are. They're getting. They're she getting was on Dirty time. Sexy Money. And first it was revolutionary. Trans, first trans person ever a series regular. And on she, Network TV. she probably should have been on the front cover of Vanity Fair. She really should have. Should've. She should have. And she been. probably should have been on Time Magazine as she well. Was also, yeah, she paved the way for all that. She was given an award that year that she was on that show because there were two trans characters, hers and somebody else's, and they were like, "This is the first time the trans character has not been the punchline, or or played by." A man or played because by a man. I played so many trans women before, and I, I, it's what it is. What it is, fine. But yeah. but I mean, now we have. I mean, has anyone seen Sense Eight? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. The trans yeah. woman on mm-hmm. uh, from that I didn't show. know until Jamie, I like maybe three or four. She did a show with the woman from Orange the Laverne and her had a makeover show in 2011 called Transform Me, and it was a makeover show. Right. It was wow. three trans women making over women. And yeah. you know, and it's I, I have to say, you know, it's wonderful because it goes from. It goes from men playing trans, which was like, oh, wow, how open. That's great. Mm-hmm. There's a trans character and some on women there. Playing to trans. actually, Felicity yeah. Huffman, Felicity yeah. Huffman yeah. Wanna, to actually casting a, a trans, trans right. person, <clears throat> right. which I, I, you know, I applaud the entertainment industry. Yeah. There, yeah. Everyone, you know, leaps and bounds. This we, yeah. Yeah. we do have, right. you know, the yeah. bleeding heart left wingers that are, you know, oh, they should be in film and TV and in the paper and in office. It, everything is step by step. Yeah. Nobody, you know, right. you but can't the, swallow a whole pot of hot soup. You gotta blow like on it a like little. Like, people like watching, they don't mind watching, because we had a very conservative base for Queer Eye, and if you think of shows like Modern Family that have a gay couple or whatever, mm-hmm. people will laugh at it, and they'll watch it and enjoy it. They just don't want that stuff affect, you know what I mean? They don't want to acknowledge it publicly. They enjoy almost for the entertainment value, right. but not, Absolutely. that's where it ends. It Absolutely. seems like every show on TV now has gay characters. Yeah. Literally. I like the Shonda ones, though, where it's like the D story, where you're gay, but you've got other stuff going on. You right. might be a villain or whatever. Right. Like, you're not... Because you know. it's kind of like, well, reality is, I guess, most families or um, has at least one person least that one, they yeah. know of, is friends with, yeah. or it's just, that's the ratio. Yeah. Right. You know. You know. Well, it certainly is a brand new day. It is. It is. Uh, we're going to send it out to break. Uh, we are so happy to be with Jay Rodriguez in the Hen House. When we get back, we're going to talk a little bit of the internet, uh, some celebrity gossip, and this bitch. 
And this song is um, for us right now. <clears throat> for us. Everybody look around, because there's a reason to rejoice, you see. Sugar? Yeah. We did? Everybody I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, hi, hi, hi. We're back on it there. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. So we're we're all like I'm, always, I'm always gossiping. Just a bunch of cackling always, hens. You know. <laughs> Welcome back to the hen house. We are here with Jay Rodriguez. Hi, everybody. <laughs> DJ Aaron Elvis and Adam Did Bush. we talk about showgirls? <laughs> I know. I never remember. I, got, I think I lost a few brain cells this weekend. Oh, I really yeah. did. Well, it's because we talk about so much leading up to the show because having a midweek show is always interesting because yeah. we see each other. You know, we're actually, for those of you that don't know, we're actually really good friends. Yeah, we all see each other. Yeah. Although, <laughs> Your nights, I'm always hosting something on Tuesday. Uh -huh. so I can't come to Rothschild. Uh -huh. I'm so bummed. It's like, well, the pictures are amazing. Rothschild had its last night. <gasps> what? No! <laughs> well, whoa, 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 whoa. Discuss. Well, but, this is our I, shameful butt plug. Well, uh, <laughs> truthfully, it's Shame like a Tuesday party cannot survive mm -hmm. a back to back to back to back God. party weekend. It just no. never yeah. stopped this year. Everything yeah. landed on a weekend. Yeah, and it's just like I can't. Right. Yeah, we got hit right. too. You know what I mean? So yeah. every, it's a hard, it's a hard sell. So I'm kind of happy the brand moved from Teddy's to the Standard, mm -hmm. and a party never really recovers when it moves. That's okay. the truth. So okay. I've tried it many, many times. So what do you have that I can come to? Pool parties? Oh, yeah. I'm working on uh, the next uh, You Can't Swim With Us pool party. It's going to be at the Standard August 9th. On Sunday, the one on Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is up the road from my house. Yeah. I can mm -hmm. walk there. And it's going to be Pink Flamingo <laughs> themed again, all again, hosted oh by God. Mayo. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I might come and drag for that one. I'll that stop eating yeah. now. <laughs> What's yeah. your drag name, by the way? I don't know. I feel like I want to be a little bit of a Chad Michaels thing. <laughs> I had a drag birthday party thing, and she was so... Oh, shoot. She was feeling herself that night, and uh, it was amazing like to be out and about but I was pretty so now I feel like I'm like, like well, maybe really I will do shit like oh, you a girl. Pretty. she was so she was pretty. Real pretty there you go my name's, you go. My name's so Tina lucky. Borshin Tina Bo oh my god Tina <laughs> I love that Jackie B thought I in one picture thought I looked like Liza, Eliza Minnelli and Dixie Carter's love child so she was like Dixie Minnelli I was like oh maybe if I say yeah. Yeah. Oh it's, a little, it's a little southern it's a little southern <laughs> yeah. for this weekend <laughs> to have you know <laughs> Liza Carter yeah Liza <laughs> well my uh, my week's this bitch is uh, I'm going to split it between two. And uh, it would be Paris Hilton on the plane in oh. Egypt. Did you hear about the wow. prank show? She's not this bitch, though. That was no, no, no. horrible. W -O the, the prank w -O. show is these yeah. bitches. Wait, these bitches. Uh, Paris Hilton, yeah, yeah. So you, you heard what they did, though. Like, they did yeah, this whole, her, like, yeah. going down. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, it's a shit. joke. And I was like, that's fucked That's up. fucked up. Well, I, I don't think I would have survived I think she that. is suing. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, I love you. Well, she's traumatized because the woman I flies every, every two seconds. Well, she said, I, somewhere. Yeah. I fly almost every day of my life. Yes. She goes, I've been yeah. waiting for this to happen. And, and they were thought, jumping oh. out the back they of the plane. They were dragging people out the back of the plane. Out the back of the plane. Like dragging them down the middle. It was insane. They all had and throwing on. them out the back because but they had parachutes on. Yeah, yeah. They had but it, it was she was like, like, oh my God. Because it, lo it looked like it was a plane where they do do. Uh, 
people parachute out of the back of it that was set up to look like a private tour plane. That's think, what happened. Well, I think they forget that she's rich yeah, as hell, so they're getting the shit suit knew, out of them. Like, who signed off on... It was it's an actual like variety show. So she went on this variety uh-huh. show. It's probably in all those waivers that no yeah, one ever no looks one at and okay, you just yeah, sign yeah, yeah. 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 So she's uh she's it. And then my real this bitch is uh all the uh filthy Bible belt county clerks that won't issue marriage licenses. Fuck okay. them. This bitch. Fuck them. That's TikTok. what I have to say. Yeah. In a in a very political and non political way. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all I have to say. Do you guys have any this bitches or shameless butt plugs? Let's do some butt plugs. <clears throat> Luke? Uh, my butt plug is for LA Skin. Um, there's a new esthetician called Jacob Johnson who... <laughs> oh my God, that was a major who's been, <laughs> who's been shaving layers off my face. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I knew LA that. Skin, all right. Yeah, Gosh. they're doing real well. Mm-hmm. Rock and roll. And Friday Nights? Nights? Uh, Friday Nights at Revolver. <laughs> so? so good. It was it's so fun. packed. I had to come in through the back because there's a line to get in the front. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to promote? Um, um, yeah. So uh, I won't do a Friday night plug. I'll do a Tuesday night revolver as karaoke. Now that Rothschild is not happening, you come <laughs> sing. <laughs> <laughs> come sing at revolver. Come sing away your. Blues. We're just revol- We're just plugging revolver basically. <laughs> right? yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thursday nights at Revolver. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Call it crazy. Wait Sink a minute. Swim. I went last Sink week. It was so flyer, sickening. It's so, it's so fun. People, people don't know what it is. No. If there's a rack of clothing. There's a stage with a curtain. Yeah. The whole thing. You get up there. You could pick it all gustied up and lip sync your favorite number. You think it's stupid until you're there with your friends. And we were they did some dying. amazing numbers. It's the by perfect, the way. Dying. Yeah. It's the perfect birthday place. Perfect. It is oh, actually the perfect you need birthday to, like, place. That needs to be that needs and to be your market. It's so most good. people have this Friday off, so if you're looking to plan in advance to do no, something, it's Thursdays. I yeah, know, so but most people have oh, Friday oh, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're going oh, yeah, out with your hello. friends or company uh, coworkers, and I think that the, you guys need to start posting videos of it. The boys, the the staff, the people who did it, lip synced as girls. They did. It was. Oh my god, I think we should too. I think we should have them playing in the background. You have to because people need a visual for. Yeah, that. it was so. Fun. And you yeah. need to get some big birthdays in there, groups of them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Well, I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Red Bull and Bartend WeHo. And uh, next week, tune in. We have got Wendy Ho coming in, the yeah, funny yeah, yeah, singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, please forgive me. I think we're going to go over about two minutes, Jake. But there's a great video that YouTube put up. Uh, it is called "Proud to Love," and uh, I really want you guys to take a look. It's a very touching yeah, video. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we will uh, we'll see you next week. Um, I am Adam Clush in the Hen House for Aaron Elvis and Luke Nero. Stay Bye. tuned. Drum Smash is up next. Yay. Wow! Listen, and I'll tell you where he is. you not? As soon as I turn on the camera, my heart is like a but I'm going to deal with it because I have something to tell you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I just. Okay. <laughs> I kid you not, as soon as I turned on the camera, my heart just like immediately started beating really hard. But I'm going to deal with it because I have something to tell you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I just felt like I couldn't. I felt like it was my fault. I needed to learn to love myself before I could expect other people to love me for that. Why am I ashamed of who I am? I'm not passing as anything I'm being. I'm about to tell my mom. I'm kind of like freaking out right now. We just wanted to like call him and tell you. Because I'm tired of hiding and I'm tired of lying by omission. Dad, I'm gay. It feels so good to say. You still love me? I still love you, Tom. Nothing but stop me from loving you, my dear. I love you, kid. I love you, too. I felt nothing but support from the people around me. Why should they be denied the right to share their life together? You are voting for the first time in the history of our state to codify discrimination into our Constitution. I hope you will stand on the right side of history. My son is not an issue. He is a person just like you. It is time. It is time to give our loving gay and lesbian couples the right to a marriage license. I's 33, nay's 29. It's the day I finally get to look at the man that I love. 
and finally say, will you please marry me? <laughs> Every single American deserves to be treated equally in the eyes of the law and in the eyes of our society. If you promise to be a respectful and loving companion. I do. I do. I do. I do. You may now kiss the bride. The grooms may kiss. You are watching T-Radio Me. Radio and TV.